Hello, I'm Dr. Julie Ann McFan of Grandma's Sewing Cabinet, and this is our next lesson for how to make a skirt pattern, um, how to draft a skirt pattern. So last time we made our our patterns, and I gave you homework if you remember that you were supposed to make a muslin, uh, a practice skirt, just to see how the pattern worked out, if we had any problems or anything like that. So here's, here's what we did, and don't forget you have to put all those markings on it, and um, hopefully you remember to cut the middle on the, f um, on the fold, and didn't do like a lot of my students did, and just cut along that, and then, oops, no place to sew. And they had two pieces, and it was like, now do what do I do? Like, go cut out another piece. So Jill, we made the pattern for Jill in our last lesson, as we've been doing all along. And I made the muslin for her, and I made it, go ahead and stand up, out of this blue fabric so that you could see it. Oh, we do, we match. <laughs> it's a good thing I have my apron on, or else it would just blend all in together. All right, so using the measurements, I drafted the pattern, and I have Jill, I'm having Jill try it on, <laughs> I'm having Jill try it on with the seams out and here's why you want to do that because if you need to make any changes it's easier to make the changes with with the seams on the outside now we happen to be at my mom's timeshare right now and even though I had it on the list of things to bring I forgot to bring my pin cushion so we're gonna have an adventure Turn around, please. As you remember, I had you only sew up to here, from the bottom up to here. And then you're going to take your pins and pin it closed. I only have one pin. Okay. This way, you're good. Um, but you're going to pin that seam closed so that you can have a good idea. Now. Just looking at this, I can see. See how I can stick my hand in there? That means we've got a problem. Either, and I have a feeling I know what the problem is. One of the easiest ways to fix that, though, is to just, to just adjust, to just adjust our center back and make it a little deeper. But, if we look at the darts, can they, is it zoomed in? If we look at our darts, I can see that we've got a little bit of problem with the darts. And when I was making the pattern, I was concerned because her measurement from here, her center back measurement, sorry, I'm <laughs> tickling her. Her center back measurement went up so high, I thought, oh, I must have mismeasured. So I took an inch off of it when I made the pattern. But in fact, if you don't make the pattern go up high enough, that will also cause the gap. Because I'm putting it at her waist, but it's actually measured for where she has a little more bodaciousness, okay? <laughs> what do you call it, badunk badunk? Badonk donk Badonk donk okay? So, so it could be that when you made your pattern and you made your temporary line um, from the bottom center up, up, this G, that G line, if you didn't make it go up high enough, then that could be causing the same problem that we have going on here. So when I'm go back when I'm back home. I'll have to make what's called a band-aid. We don't have to start everything over. We just add a little bit of paper and tape it on and redraw the lines. So we don't have to start from scratch, which is so wonderful. Okay? But when I look at her darts, if you remember in the video, I said, hmm. These darts don't look quite right. And sure enough, 
they need to be over just a little bit more and that will also help take care of this gap and one thing we want to look for is make sure our darts are vertical okay so when we look at the back darts and the front darts are they vertical when we look at it on the pattern it may look a little wonky don't change it there but when we have it on the person that's where we can see if the darts are going up and down or not let's see what's some other things we need to look at her center front is going up a little too high okay so suck it in girl <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure, do you dance? She offered for us to take classes together. Yeah, the professional, the non-professional. Mm-hmm. Okay. You have to start somewhere. <laughs> that is true. One of one other thing we want to look at is whether we have jawed purrs or not. And sure enough, she has jawed purrs because I use the curvier hip curve when I made hers. I'm thinking, okay, she's a dancer, she's going to be curvier. But you see how they kind of, it kind of sticks out a little bit like that? We don't want that. There's Look at all this room. We only want about a pinch, like a one-fourth from between where she is and where your seam is. And I did it in black so that you could see it a little better. So there's all this here that's way too much. So I will take the other hip curve and redraw that line from here down to our horizontal balance line so that it's not quite so curvy. Make it a little straighter. Um, but her, the side seam hangs straight. I mean, she, we've got the jaw purr, but it hangs straight. Uh-oh, we're hearing a little little one wake up. Our ca camera woman's going to go check on her. Um, so if it, we need to make sure it hangs horizontally again. Um, and if, if it's pulling one side to the other, then that means you, if it's pulling to the front, then that means the front pattern piece has a problem. If it's pulling to the back, then it means the back. Mm -hmm. So the problem, it always points in the direction of the problem. Think of it that way. So the wrinkles will always point to where the problem is. Anything else? Um, do a turnabout. Oh, here comes our, here's our princess. Um, now see how, I don't know if you can hold up your arms and turn around, see how it really dips down in the back when she turns around? That's because of that problem I mentioned before. It should be up like that. Okay, if your skirt, you can sit down there, thank you. If your skirt is too tight or too loose, check the, um, to make sure you sewed your darts and your side seams and your back seam correctly. No, didn't really sew our back seam all the way up to the waist. But in my experience, what I saw a lot was um, when students would put their skirts on the dress form, if it was huge, a lot of times they hadn't been very careful with making sure that their darts were the exact size they need to be. And even if you're off an eighth of an inch, if you're off an eighth of an inch, an eighth of an inch, an eighth of an inch, and an eighth of an inch, all the way around, what is that up to? <laughs> Let's see, a quarter, a quarter, it adds up to an inch, okay? And an inch makes a difference. I mean, we're always so happy when our clothes are an inch bigger, right? But, well, if we're on a diet. Oh, we want them to fit. <laughs> we want them to fit. So really make sure that um, your your darts are sewn correctly. If everything is just a, a bit too tight, then um, I will show you how to make adjustments to 
your pattern doing like slashes and redrawing your pattern, uh, your darts, and adding the band-aids. So that's basically it. Any questions? How do you feel about having, the, I mean, what do you think of the skirt? I like it. Putting you on the spot. Hmm. I will like it when it's not poofy out on the side. Poofy on the side. None of us like, I mean, please. You know, that's why we wear Spanx, so we're not so hippie. Hippie so 60s. <laughs> <laughs> so for right now, we'll see you later. Okay, I'm back from my mother's timeshare, and now I'm going to show you some of the pattern adjustments um, I will be making to my sister's pattern. You saw that I'll need to adjust the, the waist and the hip, and I'll show you how to add what's called a band-aid um, and make some other adjustments. And you may be wondering, well, why do I have to go through all of this hassle? I, could, I have to do that with a commercial pattern, so why, why should I go through all this trouble with this pattern? Uh, and the answer is that once you create this basic block, this basic pattern, you work out all the details, all the problems with it, then you'll be able to make all sorts of variations. And in f future lessons, I'll show you how to do some of those variations so that you don't have to keep futzing every single time. You'll be able to just trace off of this basic block, this sloper, and create a whole variety of skirts that will look fabulous on you. And I think it will make more sense once we get further along. Okay, so let's get started on making corrections to the pattern. The first thing we're gonna do is the easy fix, which is to get rid of that jaw purr along the side of the pattern. And the, the, when I originally made this pattern, I used the curvier hip curve, and that's what created the more rounded hip. Well, my sister apparently isn't as curvy around the hip as I thought. So, using the junior hip curve, I line it up along here to make sure it's straight, and then we move it back and forth. And you see, oh, you can see how much um, that will take off. Now, I'm going to use a different color rather than the black because it helps keep everything straight when you use different colors. So I just make a new line up from from our horizontal balance line up to the waist. And that should get rid of that jaw per effect that we had. It'll make a much straighter. Well we had we did it on the front the back. We need to do it on the front too. <clears throat> Excuse me. I seem to be losing my voice. So we line it up, make sure the flat edge, and we move it up and down. And this one is not going to take off as much, it doesn't look like. Uh, you might hear dogs barking in the background. Our neighbors across the street have about four or five dogs, and they all love barking all the time, regardless of city ordinances that say you're not supposed to have dogs that bark all the time, all the time. And now we're just going to trim along that blue line. And that's how you get rid of the jaw purse. Wasn't that easy? Now, what do you do if, like I did, I made it a little too short in the back or I need to add something? This We do what's called a Band-Aid. And we just take a scrap of paper, scrap of the dot paper, and we just lay it over, just like that. Try to line up, try to line up rows of your dots, just because it'll make it easier. 
make sure now help make it oh, I'm working with I'm gonna line them up to the right ones. There we go. Um, just because it will help keep everything in line. And you just tape it down. That's all you do. And then from there, you just redraw your lines. You make your corrections to your lines. And along here, I'll be, I'll be cutting up. Eventually, I'll be cutting right along that line. But if you remember, I made this in the earlier in the video. I made my G line too short, and it should have been. Where's my center back depth? Nine and three fourths. And I thought, oh, that's way too short. Okay, so I just make my new line. Ooh, look how high that is. And then I'm going to make a new temporary line. I do make a new temporary line over to, to the other side of the waist. And I'm going to have to redraft, redo all of those darts and the waist and everything. I'm not going to take the time to do it now because I showed you how to do that in the last set of videos where we actually drew all of our lines. But do you see? I'll, I'll be having to redraw all my lines so they go up real um, all the way up to my temporary line and then I'll fold it and trim it and all that sort of stuff. And now that will help raise that center back for my sister so that um, it's where it should be. Um, one other thing I mentioned was that the darts were too far over. And if to, to fix that, you simply just move the darts over. It, um, it's, it seems pretty elementary and yes it is so if the uh, back dart placement was three inches that's where we originally made it but you know what I need to move it over a skosh I just make all those lines in the correct place um, move it over and then you just basically redo what we did in the last um, set of videos. Um, and you just kind of cross out, but that's why having a bunch of different colors of pencils helps out, because pencils versus Sharpie, because the pencils can be erased. Um, if you need to add, if it's a little too tight, just make a band-aid along the edge and add your skosh more room. I need to make a correction. Um, when I was pinching Jill's skirt, I said we want about a quarter of an inch on either side. You want a pinch, just about, you know, where you go and a, there should be a pinch between the edge of the skirt and like the hip. The ease enables us to sit down and walk around. Um, a quarter of an inch would be very, very, very tight. And I don't know, some people like it that way, but it'd be hard to sit down. It'd be like that I Love Lucy episode where she couldn't sit down. Let's see, what else did I want to say? Um, if everything looks good, if you've done everything and it's perfect, and you're lucky that way. All you need to do is take your pattern. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. I uh, do not like clutter. All you need to do is take your pattern that you know fits and 
you're going to staple it. If you have a long arm stapler, stapler, that's fantastic. And if not, it'll just make it trickier. But you're going to staple your pattern without any seam allowances or anything on it to manila paper. If you have manila paper, a couple of layers of that. Um, and just staple it down and cut it out. Now make sure you have your markings. These mark, these notches here are for my dart placement and there's, I didn't do it in red like I was supposed to, but that's the bottom of my dart, okay? If I didn't tell you to get manila paper, but if you have access to it, that's great. If not, you're just going to take your brown paper and make I don't know, four, five, six layers of it and staple it to your brown paper. Um, the reason why is this is your sloper. This is your basic block. Um, there's all the different names for it. But this is, this is the foundation piece and we will be tracing off of it lots and lots and lots of times. And so we want to make sure it's nice and sturdy. Um, and that's basically it. Um, one thing I did say um, in the video earlier, I said that if you wanted to increase, I would show you how to slash through the darts. And as I was thinking about that, I thought, you know what, if you need to make a large adjustment so that you would end up slashing from the top of the dart all the way down to the bottom of the skirt. It would actually be better if you started from scratch and redrafted that pattern um, because it will fit you better. We'll do some slashing um, through the dart when we start making adding design elements to it. All right, so if you are to this point, yay, good job. And the next time I will show you how to actually make our first official real working pattern. And I'll show you how to make the skirt pattern with um, both the waistband and a facing. And I'll show you how to add a, a pleat feature down at the bottom. It's so cool, it is so fun, and it is so easy. Okay, so until next time, Happy sewing! <laughs>